All right, what's going on, everybody? Carter here, and we're doing another app audit in the uh, Blue Cloud Select group. I should say the members group. This is sweet. We've got a lot of awesome uh, suggestions, and it's going to take me a long time to get through all these, but I thought I'd just pick a few. And I just, uh, Mia, I saw this, and I saw your message, and I thought it would be really cool to take a look at this one. Uh, I have not looked at the app yet. So this is, like I said, I don't do, I'm not, I'm going to try to do these app audits uh, completely as native, or I should say a, a new user, um, so that I don't bring in too much bias <clears throat> to begin with, right? Okay, so click on the link. So let's do this. Let's, uh, all right, so frame it. Hip photo in photo frame scrapbook maker. Funky iPhone apps. Uh, side note, it's going to be a little noise, a couple of conference calls going on, but bear with me. I think my microphone's going to be good. So I'm screw, screw, uh, going down here. Updated recently. That's awesome. Compatibility, great. Uh, customer ratings. So we got four star ratings, 63 ratings, some in app purchases. Uh, cool. All right, I see there's some other collage apps in there. Um, great. Okay, so the first thing I would wonder is what what does this mean? I mean, I, I know it. I guess frame it makes sense. Um, I have no idea what PIP is, and maybe that's some sort of niche thing that I just don't know about. But um, that to me makes no sense, as like uh, unless I'm missing something completely. Maybe it's a keyword or whatever. So the first thing I would think about doing is uh, making this a little more clear, like photo in photo frame maker, right? I guess, I guess that frame it might be your brand name, but I like this idea of like the photo in photo framing because I believe uh, it's been out there for you because this is a change of title. Um, it's different from other apps because it uses real photos as frames, right? So that's that's your unique slang proposition. Uh, I, I get it. So I, I would think about doing that. I know you've named it a few different titles, but I would start with that. Transform your selfies and portraits into amazing photos with frame its unique real life frames. Okay, that's good, right? But uh, transforming selfies into amazing FOMO, uh, photos using real life frames, I think I would I would try to make this a little bit more specific. So what about real life frames makes photos amazing? Why would I use a real life frame and not a killer frame from another framing app? Maybe something like, Real life frames transform selfies and portraits into amazing photos by blending the best saturation levels, blah, blah, I don't know, like whatever. Just show, make it a little bit more convincing, right? A little more specific um, so, that, so that I believe it. It's not just some general kind of conceptual thing. Choose your favorite frame photo background. So again, this is this is all about how to use the app, which is fine. Uh, I would talk about why this is why this is so different. Why using you're an idiot for using regular frames. Like if you ever use a regular frame again, you're completely crazy. You got to show me exactly why that's possible. And then everything else in the description, I think, is just comes down to you know I would probably really try to push how big your community is. I, I think having a killer Instagram account would be really powerful. Be, say, not only are you going to show it, if you want to see examples, go check out our Instagram. If you want to be a part of our community, go check our Instagram, blah, 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 uh, as opposed to trying to explain it. Because you think about the psychology, right? If you're going to use a photography app, typically you're not the kind of person who reads a lot. You want, If you like photos and visual, uh, you don't like to see this. This gives people who like photos a panic attack. So uh, you might think about consolidating that a long way, right? Okay, so first thing I see, one, this is very, very difficult to read. Fun real life frames for creative pictures. You need to get a designer to overhaul these screenshots. This, The way that this font, first of all, Comic Sans, that font should be taken to the back of the barn and buried for years uh, it should have been done years ago. I don't know why people why it's still used, but change this font. Use something like Open Sans or um, Source Sans Pro. Those are new fonts. If you need any good ideas, go to Google Fonts and just type, look for the most popular fonts. That is the old. That is always the best way to look most up to date. Okay, that's like the easiest hack you can do. 
And then I would I would take this this screenshot, I would definitely put this on an iPhone and I would focus on one picture and I would focus on the picture of the demographic that you want the most, right? Because someone who's interested in Big Ben or is that what it's called? Big Ben and someone who's interested in hotels might not be might not be a parent, right? Like they might they might not want to have kids, right? If they're hiking, maybe they don't have kids or if they're a family, maybe they do have kids. I don't know. If they're a single guy, maybe they don't. But I would really get clear about who are you, who are you trying to, to talk to here? And that really begs the bigger question of the, the market itself. Who, who is the person that you are making frames for? Because I think once you really define that customer avatar, all of this starts to make a, a lot more sense. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is change that font, make this design a lot more clear, and really cater to one specific person. Okay, you might have a big audience. You might have the whole world interested in your app that will be interested in a photo frame, but you have to pick somebody. The reason why you're updating this and it's and the downloads are going down is because it's like that quote, he who is friends with everyone is friends with no one, All right? You got to just pick somebody that is going to love this. And so maybe that, that means you got to double down on, on, I mean, I always keep coming back to this one because this is kind of where your eye goes in the, in the image. But just pick a demographic and cater to them, right? Real life frames work best for baby pictures because blank, uh, whatever it may be. So from a design standpoint, I think that's the big thing. I think from the um, from the actual copy itself, I think you need to really drill in this idea of why real life frames are better. What about them is so different that you have to have them? And what is an example that you can show where someone realizes, wow, that frame is so much better than anything I've ever used before. Um, so then you get to this one. This does, this this looks like it was a it was a different designer, and it may well have been, but it looks like it just got bolted on. Um, which you know whatever, uh, but you need to get a consistent design so that all five of these um, <clears throat> are all look the same. I think that you could really benefit from a preview video. Um, I know some people are on the fence about preview videos. I personally think preview videos are amazing because it disqualifies all the people that are going to download your app and then uninstall it immediately. I think that if, if you can get someone who watches a preview video, you're going to get a much, much better user and they're going to know what they're getting themselves into. Um, so that's something to think about. Uh, ultra, ultra flexible frames, as many as you want, pan rotate size. Um, again, I think it really just comes down to a brand, right? Like who exactly are you speaking to? I get the sense that you're kind of speaking to women, right? Maybe moms, maybe young moms uh, who take a lot of pictures who want the, want the scrapbook. Um, and if that's the case, you know, all this, th they care less about the, the functions that they're going to get and they care a lot more about why, like the how much how how amazing it's going to make their instagram picture look right like you're gonna get so many likes because this is such a unique and beautiful picture you know something like take you know, make a picture look like it took you two hours to do in photoshop make it in five seconds or whatever it may be right like save all this time so that's what i that's what i think about that now let's get into the app itself all right frame it pip photo okay all right i'm gonna take that off Open this up, App Store, search, frame, frame it. Okay, so cool. So we've got a couple different um, options there. I'm just going to scroll back real quick because uh, I think this is also a really good exercise is to think about the psychology of the user, right? We always come back to the user. How do we really dial it in for the user? Frames for photos. Frames for pictures, frames, frame tastic, um, frames for light, frame light magic, frame cast. So what's interesting here is that, you know, you got some pretty broad keywords. These frame for photos, this frames for pictures, frames, frame. Like these are all very broad keywords. The people that are browsing, but then you also get people that are looking very specifically for all right frame magic, frame your life, frame cast, framed, frame tastic. Uh, what I would be interested in is like frame tastic app. How does these how are these people getting so much uh, so much brand recognition when their you know their app is you know 
this, right? Like, like it's only getting three star ratings. I guess all versions is it looks like the latest version just doesn't work with iOS 10, but it looks like the previous versions was absolutely killing it. Okay, so let's go for root just look at the um, look at the what the website looks like for Frametastic. Now maybe these guys were just one of the first to get into the store. Uh, I don't know why the website's not loading. Uh, and that's why they've got so much brand recognition and all that good stuff. But um, that's really interesting to me, right? Is that in this, when you type in frame, that's the first one. All right, well, let's just see what frame magic looks like. Frame magic app. So let's see what this one looks like. Okay, mobile lab. Um, same thing, looks like they've been around. They got all this sort of thing. Um, let's see what their website looks like or their support. La support. Um, so it looks like they're not really doing a whole lot on the support side. Looks like they've been uh, around for a while. All right, but that's interesting, right? Like I'm, I'm always just super interested to see what who who are people who are you competing with, right? Like look at look at these images are clearly catering to ch uh, children, young people, nature. Uh, I think that these are just a really great place to start in terms of understanding who exactly you're going after um right so i'm going to frame it and there you are okay wow okay so look so someone else is bidding on your keyword look at that they're bidding with a five dollar and 99 cent app now, now they're obviously bidding on a broad match which i'll talk about on the webinar on friday uh, what that all means but unfade so let's just for for giggles i'm just going to click on unfade see what they're doing right so it's a scanner. Well, that's just bad targeting on on their side. But anyway, so here's your here's your uh, your app right here. I'm gonna click get. I'm gonna install it. We're gonna rock and roll here. Touch ID, and it's gonna download. Um, that frame tastic never showed up, huh? That's interesting. Get rid of that. Do, do, do. Um, okay, so while that's loading, so I think that th this is really interesting, right? Um, I think one thing we can do is I'm going to view this in iTunes. And what I want to see is these reviews. Okay, so all versions. I'm going to type in most recent. Why do I need to pay every single time? Or it's insane, horrible. I adore the frames, especially single pick frames. About so quick, frames in the top rows. Awesome. Of all the apps I've purchased before, I've, wow, tough crowd. Um, so it sounds like the ones that are giving you, like, neat app, easy to use, just wish to initially free. So it sounds like the, the complaints that you're getting is that you're trying to make money too quickly. Like, you're not giving people enough opportunity to use the app. And I haven't even downloaded the app yet, right? And this is just what people are saying um, after each save comes with a new ad. All right, well, let's see for ourselves, right? Let's see if this is, if we agree with these people. So I'm gonna open that. All right, so frame it. I open this up um, and I'm, I'm dropped on this screen. What do I do? What is, the first, what is the first thing I do? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is click info. Okay, tap on the info, or tap on the photo frame area to add a change of photo. Touch the photo to with two fingers to rotate the region. Touch the photo with one finger to move it. Delete the photo. Okay, so with this, I think that this is great. This should be a video though, okay? This should be, uh, when you click on that I button, a video, like a YouTube video should pop up and start playing automatically that shows somebody using this app, like a screencast, just like what I'm doing right now with uh, with my iPhone. And you should, sh you should show them exactly what you're doing with this. It should not be this black and white list that nobody's going to read or remember. I can guarantee you that. I, I mean, all right, let's, let's go. So even now, okay, now what do I do, right? So even after they click on that, let's go. There should be like an arrow pointing, like a bobbing arrow saying, do, 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 click there or whatever, right? Um, and I'm going to click on, on this one. Um, click on that. Okay, moments, my great concert I was at. I went to an epic concert last weekend. Uh, I'm going to click that, which is one of my slot machine games. I'm going to frame. 
What am I going to do with a frame? Uh, I guess I'm going to do this as the frame. Well, don't I? How do I? Wait a second. Okay, so the f so the frame is like actual pictures. Okay, I wasn't even clear on that. And then you type in, you want to add text? That's you gotta unlock this. Copy, share, save to gallery, share on Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. Frame is locked. So yeah, I think that so everything in here is locked except for like the very, very basics. It's really hard for people to have a really an amazing experience if everything is locked. I guess not everything is locked, but what you should think about doing is make the first page all free stuff, okay? Like front load all the free stuff onto this page so that they're scrolling and they're like, oh wow, look at all this, all this free stuff, and then it starts to get uh, locked in. Um, but I think that's what you wanna do. I think it, it, you gotta make it a lot more clear as to what how to use this i think it's you're you're expecting people to uh be able to like they're going to know how to use this very very easily and um i don't think people will know how to use this very easily uh, more free games um but yeah i think that that's the biggest thing i uh, i think that i would agree with the reviews i think that you, you really need to front load this with more free stuff i think that uh you definitely need to make it much more clear about how to use this. And then I think you also need to make these frames better. I think that if you, once you pick that core demographic, whether it's young moms, whether it's nature lovers, whether it's photographers, whatever, these frames need to reflect that, right? Like if you're if you're gonna go after, a, a, like who is this appealing to? Who care, who, who's this meaningful to? This picture, why does this frame matter to anybody? Like, and I shouldn't say it, it, it in that in a negative way. I'm not saying that in a negative way. I mean that in the sense of, all of these frames should be appeal to somebody, right? Like this frame should matter to somebody. Why, right? Like if, if you're appealing to young moms, maybe it's like in a kitchen somewhere or there's something that there is, it's share worthy. Uh, I think that that's the biggest thing where these frames just need to really connect with the person or the people that you are, you're really marketing to. So the biggest thing, yeah, you got to show people how to use it. You got to make the, you got to make it a lot more clear that it's free. And third, I think you need to update and improve the frames uh, to appeal to a specific person. I think you just need to, you need to commit to saying, all right, these are, I'm gonna, I'm gonna target moms between the age of 28 and 40 who uh, like to do X, Y, Z for fun, and that's what all these pictures are gonna be. And everything is about those people, and I think you'll see a big increase um, in everything. All right, cool. Well, I hope that was helpful and uh, right on. I will catch you guys at the next one.